Today is the 25th anniversary of the 1986 meltdown at Chernobyl. The initial explosion killed two people, but radiation exposure killed 30 others. According to the World Health Organization, around 4,000 people could eventually die from that accident. The area around the plant is virtually a ghost town. Photojournalist Paul Fusco vividly remembers the victims of Chernobyl and hopes that Japan will avoid sharing the same fate and the same hopelessness. My name is Paul Fusco. I'm a freelance photographer. I've been with Magnum Photos since 1974. I was very concerned about Chernobyl and when it exploded in 86. It was the news, everybody knew about it. But then after a year or so, like it disappeared. And then in 1997, a friend of mine told me about children who were being accepted by families to get them away from the radiation of Chernobyl. And I was kind of stunned. So I thought, I want to go see why. So I was able to get permission. And then I got, I rented a car and a driver and we headed for Chernobyl. It's hard to just describe it. There's nothing going on in, in that station anymore. They've reinforced it with steel and concrete to try to keep the radiation in it, but it keeps feeding groundwater under it with radiation. It was a town that had 50,000 residents in it, and it was abandoned in a couple of days after the explosion. You know, there were times when I was in, in Belarus when I was looking at a different species of human being. But what I was looking for photographically is what is life like for that person. And seeing people in the clinics and institutions, hospitals, and began to realize the enormity of the problem and how many incredible, awful things that can happen to people because of this one terrible onslaught, radiation. You go to an asylum like Novinki, and most of the people there had young children up to teenage, late teenagers. Most of them were incredibly damaged emotionally, and their bodies didn't work right. Some of them were on the floor eating like animals because they can't manage to eat sitting up in a chair. Some of them didn't walk. They just crawled or rolled around. The hundreds of kids there, they did not get any education or any training in anything except how to stay alive. I want everyone to see what they've done. I owe that to all those people. At, at context. When I first heard about Japan, it was a terrible feeling of hopelessness and, oh no, here we go again. It's impossible to get the feeling, the understanding of how permanent and how complete and total this radiation poisoning is until you see it, people really should understand because the consequences are so unbelievably horrendous.